as you kind of saw, I just prepared a very good breakfast. It is 11.22 and an amazingly good smoothie. So in the smoothie, I put two bananas because I leave for North Carolina today, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't understand. I can't wait to hop on the plane and just change my scenery. But um, so I had two more bananas left. Um, that, you know, obviously I wanted to use. Typically, I only put one banana in my smoothie, but I went ahead and put two bananas in this one. Some fresh pineapples also that were in my fridge that I wanted to make sure I, I finished before my trip. Um, almond milk, frozen mangoes, and grapefruit juice. Fresh grapefruit juice. Um, I get mine from... Trader Joe's. Let me show you guys. And it is a hundred percent grapefruit juice. No added anything. Literally just grapefruit. And it does not say from concentrate. <laughs> Anywho, I'm about to devour this breakfast. And I have a lot of work that I need to get done before um, I leave. I don't leave until later tonight anyway. Um, I made sure to pack last night because I hate rushing. So my plan is to focus on work. After work or yeah, after work, I'll clean up. Um, I just have a little few things to clean up, put away some boxes to get out of here. So then I'll be ready to go. Oh, and I need to set up my Uber. I should probably do that now too before I get into work and completely forget. But yeah, I'll see y'all at the airport. I'm getting ready. Getting ready for North Carolina. What time is it? It's about, I don't think it's like, what time? Y'all, I don't know what time it is. Y'all. Do people still get cute to go to the airport? Me, I've always, I don't want to say, I've always gone for a comfortable when I go to the airport because first of all, it'd be freezing as hell. So I like to do layers. Definitely got my scarf um, ready to go. Um, But like, especially now when you're at the airport, like y'all don't, we don't be seeing each other's faces. Like I'm finna have this on the whole time all you see is my eyes i don't need to put on no red lipstick or nothing i just need to be fresh and clean and comfortable i just put on this t-shirt oh la piscine it's definitely not summertime but who who cares it's comfortable and i have on some sweats just some sweats and i'm gonna wear my nike workout sneakers nothing too complicated I'm going for comfortable. <sighs> I'm ready. Lord, please, please do not let my leg be free. This thing is not staying up. I made it to the airport, y'all. It was a hassle getting through um, security because, I don't know, something about they tested my brace and the security guard was like, oh, did you touch something that you weren't supposed to touch? I was like, uh, no. I do watch a lot of narcos though. <laughs> it's like not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't no uh, drug kingpin. So because of that, they like double and triple check my personal items and then they physically searched me twice. And then they tested all of my things. I was like, 
um, they were like, oh, it's cold, cold E13 or something like that. I don't know what, I don't know what they were talking about. Anyway, I ordered me an old fashioned. There's a reason why I don't drink at the airport because their drinks would not be hitting. I was like, you sure this is with Woodford Reserve? She said, yes. We're just gonna go ahead and take her word for it. Anywho, I'm just chilling here. I'm gonna be boarding in about, oh, in about like two minutes. So I need to ask where my fries are. I'll take it to the. officially in North Carolina. I feel like there's like, uh, don't you hate when your washcloth is like linty? Annoying. I'm gonna have to wait for it to completely dry. So you guys can see me from here. Yeah, you can. Odd angle, but it'll do for now. So I'm officially in North Carolina. My friends picked me up from the airport. Y'all, first of all, that flight, the turbulence. Yeah, it was so bad that like this lady was like started praying and stuff. It was bad. I just put my headphones on and focused on the movie. <laughs> I was like, Lord, I'm not going out like this. This this the this this ain't it. I'm not going out like this. And he said, You right. So we made it through, no problems. Um, so yeah, I'm in North Carolina. We didn't get home till like, so my flight landed around, I wanna say like 12.30. Um, we were a bit delayed because of the weather. It was like pouring rain when I left. So I kinda expected it. Um, I mean, we boarded on time and everything, but you know, the whole taxiing around, finding a, a runway that's clear enough to fly out into, all that jazz. So, the flight left a little late. Um, this, this thing is irritating me this morning. I need to put some vitamin E on it. Um, but yeah, so today, um, I don't, see, I don't want to say the names of the areas because I'm not familiar. Let me put you guys back up. I'm not too familiar, so uh, I'm gonna wait till my friend is nearby and he can like say, oh, today we're gonna visit blah, blah, blah area and blah, blah, blah neighborhood because child, I don't know. I don't know the names of these places. I've been to North Carolina before and specifically Charlotte, but that was like years, years, years ago and I don't remember any, anything, anything at all. So just switching purses. Just finished getting ready, feeling nice and fresh. And my friend left this morning to go get some work done. And then we're heading out. He has a, a realtor appointment, I think at like one. So when I'm out and about and walking around, I'll pick you guys back up. But just wanted to say good morning and I landed safely in North Carolina. <laughs> Lavender mimosa, y'all. Looks so freaking good. Cheers. So 
So we just finished eating and stuffing our faces. Let me introduce y'all to my bestie. Hey y'all, happy <laughs> Friday. <laughs> oh, Lord, that food was busting. I'm like full to capacity. So Donnie is a realtor out here in North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> and what area is this again? This is Charlotte. Is it yeah, Charlotte? Charlotte. Yeah, we're in Charlotte. The Queen City. The Queen City. <sighs> Parktown Village. Oh, that's what I realized that there's a um. Wait, where is it? I could have seen I saw an AMC theater. Oh, okay, I see it. Oh wow. You literally have everything like within walking distance. The grocery store, restaurants, the movie theater. What else could you possibly be missing from here? There's no Trader Joe's. Points off. Five minute drive. <laughs> <laughs> Points back on. <laughs> I guess. Five minutes is not bad at all because where I am now, to drive to um, what part of Jersey is that? Oh my God, is that anyway? I forget what part. Is that Montclair? Where's that uh, Trader Joe's? Oh, in Melbourne. Melbourne, yeah. So five minutes is nothing but a thing. Nothing but a thing. Oh, this sun feels so good. Okay, Cadillac. I'm trying to sell Donnie. Bring me where the single men are. <laughs> Bring me where the single available men are. So, the spot that we're going to later, is that, that's, that's in Uptown, right? That, what's the spot that's in Uptown? Where? The spot we were talking about earlier. Ever something? That's in Oh, right, right, no, okay. So Uptown so is tomorrow. We can do Uptown. We can do Uptown. We can do Uptown. We can do Uptown. Is it close by? Uptown is like 10 minutes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're like literally near everything. Yep. Oh, wow. The best a man can get. <laughs> I'm going to uh, talk to your little Lisa office people and be like, listen, that little rent that you try to tell me that little lot of rent you that that little know. lot of rent that little lot of i mean i don't even want to say where that little lot of okay bring it down bring, bring, bring it down you don't want none of that little lot of rent he's like going on over here and don't try to bamboozle me talking about something oh the first three months we're gonna get no no, because after the first three months. All the months. Okay. Okay. All the months. <laughs> All months or no months. And she sounded so nice on the phone, but I was like, Aaron from the leasing office. That ain't going to cut it, boo boo. That little lot of rent you talking about uh -huh. need to come all the way down to Lil. No part. <laughs> this is why we buy. Okay. I do need to see some of those new builds. What kind of sketchy ass place this guy got me? Oh my God, let me show y'all. <laughs> he got me in some ghetto ass gas station. All I smell is weed. And there's crackheads in the car. Damn. I'm too young to die. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm from Philly, but uh, this different. <laughs> this that Southern, uh, this that Southern different. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Who was sitting there? To my left? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. 
remember him. We were walking through there and passing Chick fil A. Mm -hmm. And he was sitting there, and I, I was like, hey, How you doing? But I don't know why he's wearing my video from there to here. He trying to see where you live. See, that's what they do. That's what they see. Donnie not from the hood. He don't understand. People always paying attention to what you doing, where you going, and what you got going on. And that's why you got to give them an evil eye like, I see you looking at me. And you look them right in the eye. And you say, Mike, what? What's up? How are you? Good day? Oh, okay. <laughs> this guy was like, oh, what happened to your car? Mind you, I had a a, a minor fender bender with my car. I don't know this man. So I, I was like, what, what are you talking about? What happened? To, what, I said, what happened to my car? He's like, oh, I see the front is messed up. You coming from the train? I was like, you ask a lot of questions. You ask a lot of questions. You, first of all, how you know what's my car? How you know where I park? I've never talked to you a day in my life. You watching me a little too closely. So here I go. How you know what, where my car parked at? What kind of car? I was like, what kind of car I got? What kind of car I got? He was like, you got that, that black Toyota. I was like, oh. I was like, well, I'm glad you know. I said, so if anything happened to my car, I know who to come to. Don't say that. Don't, why you gotta say that? Don't say that. I was like, nah, nah. Don't act like we strangers now. If anything happened to my car, I know who to come to. You watching me that closely, shoot. Oh, this is nice. That's what I want next is an Audi. I definitely want an Audi next. <sighs> Donnie got me out here exercising. Say nah, I, yeah. I'm I'm not opposed to a nice walk. The weather is literally perfect today. The breeze feels amazing. Are these apartments? No. Oh. Looks like a business. Oh, okay. Oh, I see where we are. We're at Viva Chicken, so I remember the distance. So we're down. Your building is like down this road, yeah. Look at me. Knowing. Knowing. Like I live here, so. Actually, this one is Not you. Out and around. Okay. They make donuts right out of that little. Oh, I see. It's like a walk up. Type of situation. Yeah, make sure you get that on camera. Give a rock. Yeah, raining donuts. Raining donuts. donuts. If you haven't tried to get into it, <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just showing you guys a montage of all the places that my friend Donnie and I went to. In quite a few of these establishments, they had music playing in the background, and we all know how YouTube can get. So i just showing you guys a montage of the places that we went, and just enjoy the music and the visuals, and drop down any comments down below if you have any questions to the places or venues that you see and you want more information.
I'm trying a, a, another drink. Now, it's very aromatic because it has burnt sage attached to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see that clip right there. So I can definitely smell the aromas from the burnt sage and it smells so good. And it tastes amazing too. I wanna to show you guys, what was the name of this drink? I'm trying to see. Oh, this was, um, this was Karma Cocktail. <laughs> Y'all, I had a drink already that was like, uh, um, it actually had Haitian rum in it. Haitian, uh, it says Tropical Fantasy Rum Baba Cool Haitian Agricole. And it has a Hawaiian rum in it as well. So that was very interesting. It tasted very good. Um, but dare I say it wasn't strong enough. So the next drink that I got was something called the Tenshi. Y'all, this little thing right here. <laughs> this little thing right here <laughs> got me turned up. Turned. If I could recreate this at home, Y'all, if I could recreate this at home, I never have to go out in life ever again. Ever again. Jersey. I don't know why I sound excited about that because I'm not. <laughs> um, but oh my goodness, I had to change this to some comfortable clothing. Um, it has been nonstop today, but I'm back in Jersey. Um, I start back work tomorrow, um, and I have a lot waiting for me. Which is okay. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of tea in here. Let's see. What do they call these things? Whatever. The 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 type of cups that are for um I mean of course there's a air sealing type of cup or insulated type of cup, but this particular brand and I have several coffee cups. I use them for tea. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but this one has been honestly the best and this is from this morning and it's still warm i mean it's not piping hot but naturally the tea itself cools down as well but yo this this thing is a godsend i love it but yeah i've been running around doing errands and stuff since i got back from north carolina i need to i'm starving it's like it's like two o'clock and i haven't eat, even eaten yet so I picked up some Haitian food. Y'all, I was craving Haitian food today, naturally, because I am Haitian, so there's a bit of a bias there, because, you know, I grew up on this type of food. Um, it won't look as pretty once I plate it, because I'm not going to eat the whole thing today, so it's going to be chopped up and stirred a bit. Oh, now that I think about it, I should have gotten some free dye. I don't know if this is eating any too But I got legume. I got legume. I got ginkole. So legume is a vegetable stew. It's, it's basically a stew. Um, actually, I'll show you guys what it looks like while it's still in the container. I got ginkole. Ginkole is um, rice and beans. Ginkole. And I ordered fried snapper yummy <laughs> i love i love fried snapper y'all like everywhere i go i order fish and it came with plantains y'all this smells so freaking good okay i'm too excited i'm too excited i'm doing the most my bad but y'all oh my god this looks so good mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 
I hope that's not rude, y'all. How to take that first bite. We have pickles. This is like a spicy pickled onions and peppers. Here's the dewy cole. Rice and beans. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. This is the legume. It's just vegetable stew. So good. And this is the fried red snapper. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me hold these. See if y'all can. Yes, y'all see that? Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> y'all, y'all have to bear with me. I haven't eaten yet today, so I'm a little, I'm a little excited. But yeah, I'm going to wash my hands, plate my food. And I just washed my hands. My hands is hella dry. Um but after touching all this packaging stuff I, I feel the need to wash it again um yeah i'm gonna wash my hands plate my food and just decompress from the day having traveled late at night having a busy morning of handling business i just need to decompress recenter myself feel my body and then get my mind right for work tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. So I will check you guys another time.